Statistics by the United Nations Environment Assembly indicate that the East African Community Region has lost about 6 million hectares of forest cover due to deforestation. Tanzania alone has since lost 370 hectares of East Forest cover, while research conducted by the African Natural Resources Institute indicate that an estimated 200,000 hectares of Uganda's forests are destroyed annually. However, Rwanda is ranked among the countries with the best rate of afforestation in the world for planting millions of trees. Deforestation and industrialization worldwide have a direct link to the effects of climate change across the world. Now, the regional lawmakers are pushing for the enactment of a regional law to mitigate effects of climate change. That this is a very good bill that would be supported by all and it has positive impact to all of us and even the human race to come. In the long run, East Africans are not going to have food because you don't know when to plant or when not to plant because the weather is so unpredictable. Debating a motion moved by a South Sudan representative, Dr. Jeremiah Oda, the lawmakers observed that unless the region addressed the biting poverty among the East Africans, the effects of climate change cannot be reversed. To help to coordinate and also facilitate and also uh, manage everything <coughs> pertaining the climate change. How do we tell the landless not to cultivate in swamps and yet that is the only available land that they can access? So unless we deal with poverty, climate change is very, very much linked with poverty. Research by UNDP on climate change adaptation stipulates that by 2080, the region will experience an annual rise in temperature by 1.8 degrees Celsius. We are warned. And by being warned, we cannot just keep quiet and think that the things are going to, to be solved on their own. The council has now directed the EAC secretariat to expedite development of um, the draft ESC climate change bill. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.